I thought that we would need to have some kind of magical controller that would control the braking of the motor. I thought that there would be some thing that would come in and clamp around it to slow it down. Turns out, with an electric motor, if you just short circuit it, it stops the motor. Yeah. And so that's really nice because there are switches that you can wire up like this, where you go and then boom, short circuits the motor. And so this would work with any electric motor? No, only on a brushed DC motor. Okay, but the good news is the batteries are DC. Yep. And we didn't need any inverter or anything to go from the batteries to the motor. No controller, just on off. And the, the one thing that we needed in order to do the brake was this switch here. Yeah, you could definitely make your own switch, but that was available. Uh, you just research, you know, just type in some numbers. There's a lot of stuff on the internet you could just get eBayed. Now we used a cable harness from uh, a working electric mower, and so it already had the switch up here. Yeah. And that does the exact same thing that this switch does. I took the numbers off of that switch and I bought that switch in case we didn't use this harness. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you could use a light switch, but we don't recommend it because- Oh, you could totally use a light switch. But the problem would be <laughs> you'd shut off the mower and it would just keep spinning with the inertia of the blade. And yeah. that's dangerous. Yeah, you would need a uh, double pole uh, switch so that you could do two operations or just have two switches and tie them together somehow. And one would be a break and yeah. one would be, yeah, that's a little, that's a little scarier. Go for this. Yeah. So the other thing that we did that was kind of um, sketchy looking yeah. was that we uh, strapped these two things to the mower itself just using tape. This was an amp meter. This was our volt meter. Mm -hmm. And so this allowed us to monitor the volts of uh, the whole system and the amps that were going to the motor at the same time. And that told us the watts that the motor was drawing, but it also told us the voltage of the battery pack. So one of the really nice things that we noticed about having an electric mower is that you have the on off of yeah. like an electric drill, right. right? You have the immediate turn on. There's no none of that every time you want to start it up. And then way quieter, right? It's, this sounds like maybe a noisy fan. Mm -hmm. Worst case. It's just like bzzz. Right. And then. It's not like <laughs> ah! <laughs> and, and then, you know, if someone wants to talk to you, it's no big deal to stop the, the motor because you don't have to pull start it again. So you just go, oh, what was that? Oh, I missed the spot over there. Okay. And do the rest of your mouth. Another good point, mm -hmm. no smells, no exhaust. There was nothing. You, and also think about this. You don't have to worry about the fuel. Every year, the fuel turns into glue inside your carburetor, you right. know? And people don't even know what a carburetor is. You right. know? It's like, time to buy a new mower. People push these to the curb all the time, every season, because just one little piece, the Achilles heel of the engine is that the fuel doesn't, uh, doesn't flow. So another thing here is the weight difference between uh, what we did mm -hmm. and a typical gas mower. Now you might be thinking, oh, the battery pack is so heavy. So with our battery, it weighed five pounds. With the BMS, everything yeah. all wired together, this, everything. Everything was, five, it was, you know, a little bit of weight for the wood, but that was basically five or six pounds. You have a gas tank. You yeah. fill the gas tank. How much, how much probably, is this? Probably a gallon and a half, maybe, maybe, okay. maybe two. And a gallon of gas weighs about eight pounds. Oh yeah, so just So right we're talking about 12 pounds of gas. Mm -hmm. How long will 12 pounds of gas last you for? Depends. I think probably about 40 minutes, maybe max. So we're talking about yeah, it's the same. five pounds versus what? 11, 12 pounds yeah. of gas. Mm -hmm. um, and then- Yeah, but Jesse, what about the whole, the engine too? Right, you have this it, giant engine, you have this small motor here. Yeah. I'm just saying, in terms of weight, this is way better. And especially if we had flipped where the battery pack was mm -hmm. to the back here, closer to your, your fulcrum point, mm -hmm. th that would have made the whole mower a lot easier to control. And, uh, you know, if you go buy an electric mower, yeah. they already have figured all this out. Mm -hmm. They're much lighter, much easier to transport. Yeah. Um, and another thing is we can tip this up on its side and not have to worry Wait, about what oil about, Did you change the air filter on here? No, there's no air filter. 
No air filter? Right. What about the carburetor? You know, because that thing's super important, right? No, no carburetor necessary. Carburetor there? We don't have to worry about a spark plug. Spark plug? You don't have a spark plug on there? Yep. No magneto. Mm. I mean... Oh, the magneto, yeah. I mean, there mm. is an electric motor, but what it's its own thing. What about the exhaust pipe? The exhaust pipe right here? <laughs> we don't too? have anything about no. like that to worry about. You don't got that? What about the head gasket? What if you blow a head gasket? No head gasket no. to worry about. Did you have to change the oil on that? Nope. There's no oil changes ever. Really? Never. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, and you got to store the gas. Right? Nope. <laughs> Everything yeah. stored the battery. Yeah. So you don't have that to worry about. You there never you have to go to the gas station right. to run your mower. This will plug into the wall yeah. with your charger. Yeah. So like a phone. Yeah, like a phone, like a laptop, yeah. like yeah. an electric car. Yeah. This is the future. Yeah. I know this looks wild, but we did this on a pretty shoestring budget. Oh yeah, we just kind of did it. You know, I mean, sure, there's some fabrication and, I mean, if you're a DIY, you can make all this. It's just a couple of bolts. You got drills and mm -hmm. whatnot. And, you know, I did a little bit of welding. And look, did we, did we set out here to make the best mower? No no, 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 no. This was our first foray into converting a gas-powered vehicle into an electric vehicle, mm -hmm. and we did it. This is a great way to learn on how to get to the next level. Right, because the people who are the race car drivers and the, and the you know, the engine enthusiasts, they didn't get their start on, you know, a 1961 Thunderbird. Yeah. No, they got their start on their, on their father's lawnmower uh, way back in the day. Yeah, I mean, it's, you got to start somewhere. It's a reasonable project to do. Uh, you can get it done. We did this in a week. A little less than a week. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Mr. G, I think, you know, a lot of the wiring and stuff is pretty, you know, understandable. The motor you get, there's bolts and nuts. But I mean, in terms of the battery pack, I think that might be the most scary part of the whole project. Is there some better way to be powering this instead of having to build your own pack? Yeah, I mean, not everybody's gonna wanna spot weld uh, that whole thing together. It's kinda a lot to do. You have to assemble the little bricks and then we had to do a thing. We actually have a solution for that. Uh-huh. Okay, so check this out. Oh my, this is like yeah. every remote control on earth, right? This is like straight out of your childhood. This is like a, a toy car, right? Uh-huh. Okay, all you do, just like you regular, you know, look for positive. And just clip it in. Oh my gosh. That's so simple, right? So we would have to do all of this, then wire it up and get a BMS and do all sorts of crap. Uh, it seems you, like just about as much work. Well, you can get these or you can get the whole pack taken care of. Whoa. Bam. So wait, what is this? Yeah, so this is from uh, Jag35, which is Jehu Garcia. He's uh, got a YouTube channel where he does DIY power wall and electric cars, a lot of Volkswagens. Oh, our buddy Jehu, right. Yeah, Jehu, Okay. Right? Yeah, you guys hung out with him at a, a bunch of different episodes. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, so check this out. Here, pop it open. All right, let's take a look inside. So, oh, hey, the, look at that. There's batteries in there. Yeah. And whoa, look at all the wiring and everything. So it's just like this, yeah. right? And they're all set up and then they have these little standoffs mm -hmm. and then each one has its own uh, BMS. So this pack is actually more powerful than our pack. Yeah. So we had 52 cells in ours. We had a 13S 4P. Right. This one is a 14S yeah. 6P. So the voltage is higher and the amps is higher. And so that means that not only can we output more power in terms of watts, there's more watt hours in this pack. Yeah, it's almost double what that is. And the crazy thing is, is look at the size comparison. I mean, yeah. obviously we use some pretty thick plywood to, to build this box, but wow. And so you think that if we hook this up to our motor, that it would work? Oh yeah, it would spin it faster and it would last longer. Wow. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? That is really cool. And yeah. Can can I can people buy this? Yeah, I think you can get this from Jehu, and but you can also make it yourself by buying these uh, PCB boards from Jehu. Yeah, and he sells it in kits. Then you can also buy. You could get your batteries from anywhere you want, but I think he's got a supply chain as well. So that's yeah. Jag35.com. Yeah, and you haven't seen the best part yet. What is the best part? The best part is it's got a little meter on it. Woo! <laughs> Very fancy. Yeah. Nice, and then you have these two terminals here? Yeah, so you just kinda do, 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 and put your terminal, you know, your ring terminal on there, nice. no big deal. And then you just kinda 
So that would really simplify the project. Yeah. Like if, if the battery stuff was really skeezing you out, if you're mm -hmm. like, gee, I don't know if I'm gonna be building a battery pack from the cellular level, you could just go with something like this. Yeah, when it comes to a conversion, what you do is buy everything in your budget and then make everything that's not in your budget mm -hmm. or that's not available. Yep, yeah. but it's good to know that this is available because then you might not need to build it. That's right, exactly. And so this is the Ammo Can by Jehu. You can get it at uh, jag35.com. Yeah, cool. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notification bell. I wish I didn't have to say it, but that's, uh, that's the way the world works on YouTube. So thanks All so right. much for watching. Now, now you, you know. know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.